Hey, welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment. I just want to thank you for coming in once again. It's uh, your coach, uh, Lisa. Lisa, so excited to be back with you uh, yet another time. Um, and this video I'm going to be sharing, it's called Pain. Pain. Are you familiar with that? Pain. Are you struggling in with pain right now? Or just coming out of experiencing some really challenging, painful moments? Well, this is for you. This session is for you. And pain. And how I see pain is purposely arranged. It's necessary. That's my acronym for pain. Purposely, it's arranged by God because it is necessary in our lives. And even as I reflect on my own life, I realize that had I not gone through the painful moments that I went through, maybe I would not have been where I am right now. I may not have written my book. I may not have, you know, experienced the great mountaintop experiences and the victories and the deliverance and the healing and the joy that I experienced because I encountered pain. We see pain is necessary. Pain tells us that there are areas in our lives that needs our undivided attention. When you have pain in any part of your body, it is just the body signaling to you that there is something going on and it needs your undivided attention. And with that, we then action. We go and take our medication or we make an appointment and we go to the doctor or something um, we do something to be able to eliminate that pain so pain is very important could you imagine that you have stuff going on within your body and there's no pain so you don't know about it but the time you deal with it it could be such a catastrophe and you could probably end up in a really bad place or even dead. So that's how necessary um, pain is. So purposely arranged, it's necessary. Uh, but when you're going through it, you don't see how necessary it is. You don't see the importance of that pain when you're going through it because pain makes you it, it it you feel down you feel depressed you feel disassociated from things you feel alone um in that pain and you know there's so much feelings um that we can describe of when we are going through pain how that is for us but if you were to sit down and you would to think about the many times where you suffered the pain you felt the pain that you were able to do something about it and because of that pain you are living today because of that pain you're healed today because of that pain you were able to walk out your purpose because of that pain you started a business because of that pain you married the 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 man or the woman the wife or the husband that you married because of that pain you grew stronger and there's so many blessings that come out of our pain 
but for some reason we seem to just focus on the negative of the pain but the pain is necessary in Psalms 34 verse 18 it says the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit are you crushed in spirit right now well God is close to you and he he his hands are stretched out towards you and he is in the situation with you and all you need to do is pay attention because there is a reason for that pain the pain is telling you that some action is required and that you need to begin to do something about the pain don't wallow in your pain don't become bitter in your pain don't become complacent in your pain but instead begin to take a deep look within yourself look at what you may need to eliminate look at what you may need to separate from look at what you may need to implement look at what you may need to change because of the pain begin to see the pain as a blessing and not a curse Begin to see the pain as something that's going to cause you to grow, to mature, to be better and not be bitter. Uh, Naomi, we know in the Bible, Naomi, she was a wife. She was a mother. And she went through so much loss. She was in so much pain that she wanted her name to be changed from Naomi to Mara. She said, why are you calling me Naomi, which meant pleasant? Call me Mara because I'm sorrowful and bitter in spirit because of all the loss that I have experienced. And maybe right now there's some of you who may be in pain and you may be feeling just how Naomi felt. You may be feeling bitter. You may be feeling angry. You may be feeling alone, all isolated. You may be feeling so hurt, not expecting that what has happened to you, the things that had has transpired, the gossip, the betrayal, the let down those who walked out on you you would have never imagined that the persons closest to you would have done those things to you but beloved we all have our own journeys to walk and some of them are painful but some of them are very vital and needed for our growth and for our transitioning the butterfly before it could become a beautiful gorgeous free butterfly that we so admire it has to go through that metamorphosis process where it is alone where it there is dark where it is lonely where it has to hang there for days until that transformation comes and if it tries to get out of the process without going through the full process then it will not become the beautiful butterfly that we admire it will not be able to do that which God intended it to do so I'm singing to you today your pain is for a reason. Your pain is that metamorphosis that brings you into that strength, that brings you into that awesome beauty, that brings you into that place that men and women will stand and they will say, My God, she is the one, he is the one that went through so much, but look at them today.
Look at how God has delivered. Look at how God has transformed. Look at how God is blessed. Because that shall be your portion. As long as you stay focused and stay in the process. And don't try to come out. Don't try to blame. Don't try to put down. Don't, don't allow hatred to come into your heart because of your pain. But allow the understanding. God says, if any of us lack wisdom, we are to ask God. And if you don't understand why you are going through all the pain, it's for a reason. And you need to ask God to show you and to help you process through the pain. Even your, your enemy, they serve a purpose. They serve a purpose in your life. So I know that we like to shun those people that we think don't accept us or, you know, don't have anything good to say or do about with us. But sometimes those very people are the ones that God uses to push us into our purpose sometimes those are the people that God use us, uses to mature us sometimes those are the people that God uses to process us so although your pain might be a very painful moment that you're experiencing in your life right now I want to encourage you not to throw in the towel. I want to encourage you not to be bitter. I want to encourage you not to give up on your God because he is the one that will see you through. He is the one that will help you through faster than if you had to go through it on your own. David experienced pain in ways that I don't think that any of us would have experienced. He experienced betrayal, put down, backbiting, I mean ridicule. He went through it all. But yet, David loved the Lord. And David' passion for God was like none other. And that's why we have the Psalms that we so run to even during our pain. It's because David stood the test of time. He went through it. He, he didn't back out. He stood and he went through the process. And I want to encourage you to stand and go through the process. Because you don't know who you will be a blessing to. You don't know who's looking to you and drawing strength and encouragement from you. Because they see you going through. But they see your demeanor. And it is one that is that says, I won't give up. It is one that says, regardless of how hurt I am, I'm going to keep going. It is one that says, God is my strength, my help, my present help in the time of need. And I will not leave my God. I will not forsake my God. So look at your, your pain as your purpose. Your pain is that thing that is purposely arranged because it is necessary for you. Despite the fact that you feel you don't need it, I'm telling you, you need to experience it. You need to come to the place because sometimes we are so high-minded that we forget that we need to be humble and that pain brings us to that place of humility it causes us to recognize that really and truly we are nothing regardless of what we have how much education we may have how much material possessions we may have at the end of the day we are to stay humble before God 
because he is the one to be lifted up. He's the one to be worshipped. He's the one to be exalted. He's the one to be praised. And God says, I will not share my glory with anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how many people you may be inspiring. It doesn't matter how much ambition you have. We are to always humble ourselves before God and come to Him as a child. Come to Him, Abba Father. He is our Father. Acknowledge Him as the Father who knows all, who understands all, and who gives us what He knows that we need and not what we really want. Because some of the things that we want, if God would allow us to have it when we want it, it would devastate us. Yes, it would. So God knows. And some of the things that he may be withholding from you right now is actually saving your life. It's actually keeping you from destroying yourself so whatever physical pain you may be experiencing right now whatever emotional pain you may be experiencing right now I know you may say coach Lisa well it's easier said than done but I myself has encountered countless countless experiences of pain pain of letdown pain of betrayal pain of disappointment pain of ridicule yeah I, I've experienced some pain but I've realized that God just worked it out so wonderfully, so beautifully, that I could smile at the pain. Looking back, I can have a smile on my face. Yeah. So, I want to speak to you today. I know it's a hard journey. And I know right now you may be feeling like there is no way that you can come back from this one. But I guarantee you, you will have a comeback. I shared in my video yesterday a comeback from a setback. But don't ever fall back. And I want to encourage you. Run to the arms of the one who understands your pain. Run to the arms of the one who is able to comfort you in your pain. Run to the arms of the one who is able to keep you. He knows the plans that he has for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you peace, hope, and an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. He knows. He sees. He may be quiet for a time. But even in his quietness, there's a reason why. And he knows that you even need that. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on others because of the pain you may be experiencing. Oh, so sorry about the noise. Um, it's some kind of insect. <laughs> don't give up. Don't give up. But keep pressing forward. 
because one day you look back and you will see why you had to go through and experience what you went through and you have a smile like mine and you will say Lord thank you thank you for that which you allowed me to experience because it all worked together for my good so I want to say a prayer for you right now I feel led to really release a prayer for those of you who are battling depression oppression because sometimes when we are in pain depression steps in and the enemy tries to come and oppress us and we feel so low we feel like we literally cannot get up our physical bodies are, are even drained and, and affected by that pain so father right now under the sound of my voice those who are listening to me right now who are let me just let me come a little closer who's experiencing any kind of pain Lord I stand in agreement with them today and I thank you Holy Spirit for touching them where they need to be touched I ask oh God that you will bring your hands of healing and you would wrap your arms of love around them and they would experience your healing touch your transformational touch your delivering touch and father god i pray that you would give them the strength to be able to go through and rise above every situation that faces them today i declare victory over their lives i declare healing right now in the name of jesus and i thank you god that no weapon formed against them will be able to prosper but you will arise as a mighty man of war in this situation bringing peace hope and joy thank you for healing them right now where it hurts the most and delivering them from that bed of affliction and that pain in the name of jesus amen and if that was you and you accepted that prayer you you, you you were in agreement with that prayer I want you to comment and say I was in agreement with you that prayer was for me I want you to say coach Lisa that prayer was for me and I'm reminding you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed if I if I if you believe that I'm encouraging you and inspiring you in any way please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell that every time I post a video that you would be one of the first to see that video so God bless you if there's anything further that I can do to help you please reach out to me all my information will be right down in the description box so you just tap into that and you will see my contact information and just also reminding you if you haven't received a copy of my book purpose pursuit you want to get this book this book will help you in your moments of pain because it would encourage you and give you the tools that you need to be able to rise above your pain and keep going and recognize that it is leading you in your purpose so god bless you love you just encouraging you
Just stay strong, stay positive, stay hopeful, and PTL, produce, transform, and lead by example. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Bye.